Hey everybody, my name is Carol Rourke. I'm an artist living in the Mississippi Delta, the northern part, so about an hour south of Memphis, kind of close to Oxford. And I'm a full-time artist, full-time art teacher, also director of our local arts council. I just wanted to welcome you to my studio. I'm getting ready to start putting some instructional videos up, some introduction to some things that I do. We're in a different situation right now. A lot of us are stuck at home. A lot of us are looking for new hobbies, things to do while this coronavirus is doing its thing. And with the internet, we have windows to each other's world. So I'm going to show you a little bit of mine. This is the doorway to my happy place and a place where I actually like to be alone a lot of times. So come on in. So as artists, we all want our studios bigger and better, but I have to say, I'm so excited to have a space like this. Is it as big as I wanted eventually? Maybe not. I'd like to expand that way at some point. But right now I've got a room that's around 15 feet by 22 feet. So I'm able to teach in here, teach small classes. That's why I have the tables out. I have business over here in my office area space. Over here is my space. I have a wall easel set up. I have my monitor when I use it. I work plain air, so yes, I work from photographs. I also work from sketches and I work from plain air study. So usually I have a space that has a combination of all aspects here. This is a current piece I'm working on right now. Um, I love, I always thought I needed this nice, beautiful wooden tabaret. Didn't happen, but I do enjoy my toolboxes. And now that they make these really pretty wooden chopping block tops for them that dresses them up just a little bit. Right now I'm getting ready. Um, our schools are all out. I have lots of art students that are sitting at home bored wanting something to do. So we're taking our classes online. So in about an hour I'm going to conduct my first live online class. So we're getting set up for that right now. We're going to be studying Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, like I said, I have table space for students. Wall space. Um, now, I have horribly ugly wallpaper, but if you can see behind the paintings, there are many, many names on the wall. Over the years, if you left my class as a senior in high school, your last class, you were allowed to sign the wall. So behind these paintings that are on there are names on top of names of students who have taken art with me over the years and as they graduated left their mark on my wall. So even though the wallpaper is not the prettiest, it kind of has a lot of special meaning to it. Um, if you come around the corner, what I call no man's land, I have storage area through here, I have flat files in there, I have metal shelvings for supplies because I have supplies for not only myself, but as students as well. I teach classes here, but I also teach classes in four other locations. So I'm bringing supplies back and forth and stocking for kids. We are in a very rural area, so we don't have immediate access to a lot of art supplies just up the street. So I try to keep enough stocked for my students when they need it. So I hope you'll follow me on this journey. I hope you'll come back, subscribe to my channel, like Roark Studios on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram as Roark Studios. Going to have some very instructional videos, very basic stuff. If you've never painted in your life, you might find something on here that's of interest. I will be taking you out into the field with me and doing some videos of plein air studies and demonstrations. So I hope you'll subscribe, come back often.